We have been successfully using ChatGPT to generate quite complex cloud code, but can it refactor existing code and make it better? Let's find it out. So here I have my GitHub gist where I wrote a cloud code function with unnecessary complex and very inefficient cloud code. As you can see, it's going to get employees, so it's going to search the person class, get all the objects from this class, then create a unnecessary final array, because this is also an array, the temp1, then it's going to loop through the temporary array, reading its objects and writing to the final array, which is totally unnecessary, and last but not least, return the final array. Let's copy this gist and go to ChatGPT and ask it to read. So, read the JavaScript parse cloud code function that follows and paste the, that code in. It will try to generate uh, an interpretation of this function. As you can see, ChatGPT4 is still quite slow, but it works. So it's interpreting what the function does. So a function is named get employees and defined as an async function in parse cloud code. The person uh, class is instantiated using the parse object extend person, which is correct. A new query for the person class is in its instantiating using the new parse query person. Okay, it's also correct. It's getting uh, the retrieving objects using the query find create an empty array called final array. The function iterates uh, each object in a temporary with a for loop. So as you can see, it's reading and interpreting every single line of my inefficient code. As soon as it finishes, we are going to ask it to refactor to make it more efficient and more readable. There you go. So refactor the code above to make it more efficient and easier to read. Now, if this works, it should take five or six lines of code to do exactly the same. There you go, it started working. It named the function the same, get employees. It extended the person class, created a query for it. And as you can see, it used the equal to is employee instead of checking every single object into the temp array. So this will automatically select only the, employ the persons that are employees. I don't have to iterate through every object. It also did not use the temporary array passing the objects to a new one. It understands that the generated array fulfills my needs and returns that one. So as you can see, ChatGPT is an amazing tool and it can optimize and refactor your existing code to make it more efficient. So if you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you're already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or any implementation you'd like to see, please leave it on the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.